Today, I will be walking you through to help you complete your U of T Engineering supplementary application. Once you log in, this is what your homepage of the online student profile will look like. The online student profile is your opportunity to help us better understand you as a person and your strengths outside of the classroom. Your application will not be reviewed until all six sections are completed. Your online student profile must be completed by February 1st of 2017. Step 1. Program Choices Rank your programs in order of preference. While you have already identified your program of choice on OUAC, these rankings will be the definitive order that the admissions committee will use to assess your application. Step 2. Educational Timeline Provide a brief outline of each school that you have attended from the start of high school up to the present. For any periods except for regular school vacations that you have not been in school, please provide a brief outline of your activity in that period. Step 3. Academic Profile Provide detailed information about your academic history. For example, grades and credentials that you may have achieved in your educational system. Here is where you will also list any standardized tests that you may have written. Please note that you will be required to submit these results if you have written them. Step 4. Extracurricular Profile This is your opportunity to provide detailed information about your activities outside of the classroom. Select the activities that you have been the most engaged with. We are looking for quality versus quantity here. Also be sure to include any full or part-time jobs that you have held. Your extracurricular profile section will be used for scholarship consideration. So be sure to put your best foot forward. Also note, the reference portion of this section requires names and contact details of a person who can verify the information that you have provided only. Please do not submit letters of reference. Step 5. Personal Profile Here you will provide your responses to three questions, two video and one written in real time. When you are ready, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Proceed to Personal Profile. Once you click on the Proceed to Personal Profile, you'll be redirected to the check-in page that looks like this. There will be four steps that you must complete before you begin. Note, the last step will provide you with a practice option, which will allow you to get comfortable with the platform. You can complete as many practice rounds as you wish before you begin. If you are running into any issues, there is a help button on the right top hand corner. You'll be able to connect with us via email or a live chat to help solve any issues you may have encountered. Once you are ready, at the bottom of the page is a green button that will read Start Interview. Once you are ready to begin, click that button to start your interview. In preparing for your real-time responses, you'll need the following. One, a laptop or a desktop computer with a webcam and microphone. Two, a browser with Adobe Flash installed. Three, stable internet connection, as this is a real-time session once you click Start Interview at the bottom. Four, pen and paper for taking notes. Five, 30 minutes of quiet, uninterrupted time. Personal profile, question format. There will be three questions that you'll be asked. Question one will be a video response. You'll be live recording into your webcam, but we will not be live. This will be an interview-based question. You'll have two minutes to think about your answer and two minutes to respond. Question two will be a written response that you type approximately 250 words. It will be a problem-solving question. We want to see how you devise a solution to a real-world problem. You'll have 
10 minutes to think about your answer and 10 minutes to type up your answer. Lastly, question three will be another video response. You'll be live recording into your webcam, but again, we will not be live. This will be an interview-based question. You'll have three minutes to think about your answer and three minutes to respond. Step six, engineering assessment fee. The last step of the online student profile is paying for your application fee. Please note your application won't be reviewed until you pay the engineering application fee. Once you have completed all the six steps of the online student profile, you can return to the home page and there should be a check mark beside each section if you have completed it. Lastly, if you have any required documents to submit, it'll have to be done on the applicant portal. You can access the document submission section from the homepage of the applicant portal. This section of your engineering applicant portal is where you can see an up-to-date list of the documents that you are required to submit and those that we have already received in support of your application. Check back regularly as document requirements may be added as we receive more information about your academic history. For Ontario applicants, current results for Ontario high school students will be submitted to our office electronically by your high school guidance office. For non-Ontario or international applicants, all other students are required to submit an uploaded version of your transcripts for studies completed or in progress by February 1st. We also accept transcripts electronically from schools through services such as Naviance, Edox, Docufied, or Parchment. 